Hello and welcome back everyone. Today, we're taking a look at a very famous legend from the folklore of the British Isles, the Black Dogs. Black Dogs, also known as Black Hounds, are a class of monstrous beings found mostly in the folklore of the southern and eastern English counties, and sometimes in some regions of Scotland and Wales. The origins of the Black Dogs are uncertain, however, some say that it may have its roots in Celtic and Germanic elements within British culture. After all, they were very similar to the Hounds of Anun, a creature from Welsh mythology. They were said to take the shape of a huge shaggy-haired black dog that was about the size of a calf. They had enormous glowing red eyes and long sharp teeth. Some of them were malicious and evil, and others were benevolent, although the latter didn't occur quite often. Initially, they were regarded as unearthly creatures that served as familiars for witches and warlocks. Black dogs were usually encountered on lonely tracks, ancient roads, bridges, and graveyard entrances, basically the places of transition in human lives. Some legends talk of the black hounds as the guardians of an ancient treasure, such as the one in the English coastal town of Lyme Regis in West Dorset. It was said that if anyone attempted to strike or engage a black dog, they could retaliate with frightful powers that inflicted savage wounds, paralysis, and sometimes death. When they were finished with their victims, the hounds simply vanished in front of any survivors. Fighting a black dog is one thing, but according to some legends, merely seeing one is supposed to bring death within the upcoming year to the person that saw the beast. However, in some parts of England, Instances of black dogs appearing to lost travelers or frightened girls to guide them at night and protect them are also very well known. Black dogs are among the oldest and most popular legendary creature from British folklore, which is why sightings of the creature have been reported in almost all the counties in England. Here are a few examples of some of the most popular folk tales revolving around the black dogs in England. On the 4th of August 1577, the English clergyman Abraham Fleming reported seeing the devil in the disguise of a black dog at St. Mary's Church near Norwich. That day, during a frightful thunderstorm, the beast appeared, terrifying and killing those attending the church. After butchering most of the people there, the hellhound simply ran off and vanished. Nowadays, St. Mary's Church still attracts many visitors to see the place where all that happened. The Newgate Prison of London was said to be haunted by a black dog that would often appear just before executions. In 1596, a scholar suspected of witchcraft was sent to the prison. When he arrived there, he was killed and then eaten by the starving prisoners that were already there. When the black dog appeared shortly after that, he hunted down and killed every single one of the prisoners, no matter where they ran off. Near the town of Lyme Regis, there was a farmhouse haunted by a black hound. However, unlike most tales revolving around the beast, this one didn't seem to be hostile and never caused any harm. According to the legend, one night, the owner of the farmhouse tried to attack the hound with an iron pecker. The supernatural beast simply vanished on the spot, and a treasure of gold and silver was found where it stood before. Examples like these were very common throughout England. Hundreds of black dog sightings have been recorded over the last 400 years, and not only in England, but in France, Denmark, and other areas of Scandinavia as well. Black dogs are quite popular in pop culture as well. The legend of the black dog even inspired the author Conan Doyle for the very famous Hound of the Baskervilles, where Sherlock Holmes was sent to investigate on the mysterious beast. In Bram Stoker's Dracula, the Count transforms into a black dog as he arrived in London to easily go unnoticed by the people at the harbour while he reached his mansion. Other than that, black dogs are a source of inspiration for various literature works, video games, films, and even music. That's it for today's video. Thank you everyone for watching, I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and as usual, I'll see you all very soon for the next video.